my name is Dr. Gartner and I am excited to be your chemistry professor this semester and we are going to be doing lots of wonderful things that uh, are going to relate to the study of chemistry and science and being able to focus on what is matter, how do we describe how it changes. And so this semester, as we jump in, um, I am hopeful for a few things. One is that you get just as excited as I do being in a chemistry class or being in a chemistry lab as I'm walking around here right now. This is our general chemistry lab and being a, able to have the opportunity to study uh, chemical reactions and how things change. Uh, we are going to be able to look at the relationship between matter and energy and light quantum mechanics, all kinds of fun things. And so I just want to welcome you, uh, get you uh, familiar with my face as you'll see me lots during the semester, but I'm excited to meet each and every single one of you, get to study chemistry together, look at the relationship of light and matter and chemical reactions. And as we do so, I want to start us off with one interesting, exciting reaction, and that is looking at what I call screaming gummy bears. So let's take a look at it. Well, you hope you had as much fun as I did getting to do that experiment and looking at the amount of energy that is released from just these little gummy bears uh, when it reacts to that potassium chlorate. We are gonna look at reactions like that and so much more uh, this semester and this year. And so I'm excited to look at all those and discuss those all together and hopefully understand what's happening, not only in why are we releasing all this energy, what kind of bonds are being broken, what kind of changes are happening, but also kind of at an atomic level, what's the change that's occurring as well. Now, before we jump into all those cool, exciting things this semester, I wanna give us a few tips and suggestions and recommendations that are gonna help us maybe start off well, work hard to be successful this semester. Now, as we do that, we're gonna actually go ahead and take a tour and walk around Keck and talk a little bit about what kinds of things we can do to be successful and prepared for this class. So let's go. Oh, I forgot, one important safety thing is when we're wearing our lab coats, we wear them in the lab. But when we go outside the lab, we don't want to take all the junk and stuff that gets spilled on our lab coat with us. I don't want to go take this and eat my lunch and maybe get some of that potassium chlorate in my stomach. I don't want that reaction happening with all the food that I ate. So I'm going to take my lab coat off and we're going to go walk around Keck and talk a little bit about what we could do well this semester. One of the places 
that you're gonna wanna go and check out, whoa, that's bright, all right, there we go, is the outside patio. As you can see, just in Keck, we have these wonderful study areas where you have the ability to hang out, eat some lunch before your lab. This is right outside of our lab room. And also collaborate with your friends as you're working on your labs. And so that's one recommendation that I would have. Find a wonderful study group that you get the opportunity to work together to deal with all these different wonderful topics together to talk through them, to discuss them. And when you do that, you'll find that when you can explain something well, that means that you understand it. And when you don't understand something, it's also helpful to have somebody around you who has the ability to discuss that and share that ideas, those ideas with you. So that's tip number one, find some study partners that you get to work with uh, and discuss these different topics together. So let's go check out another area. Now, one of the most popular places to study in Keck is the Woman of Science Gallery on the third floor. So in this place, we have lots of great places to sit and study, prepare for our classes. And what I wanna talk about now is how do we get ready for class and what do we do during class? So before class, I always have a pre-class video, pre-class assignment, what I call an online learning module. These online learning modules have a video that introduces topics and ideas to us, some textbook reading that we have, maybe a journal article to read, uh, and then some follow-up questions that get us thinking and applying a little bit the ideas that we have to see how comfortable we feel about the concepts in that video or in that reading. Now for each of these, uh, I give you multiple attempts to try to make sure we feel good and comfortable about these kind of surface level topics and ideas that we get from these videos. And then in class, we take those ideas and we mash them together with other concepts we've learned before and apply them and think about them in a greater detail and more in depth as we work in groups, as we talk with our partners around us, as we apply that with practice problems or, qu or example questions, looking at case studies and how we apply those case studies to the topics we've learned. And so then that gives us the ability to apply those ideas. Uh, and that's going to be the normal rhythm that we'll have for every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday class, where we're going to take these ideas and we're going to apply them uh, during our class time. So if you don't come prepared, if we don't read the, the reading, if we don't watch the video, if we don't answer those questions in preparation for class, we're going to be kind of at a disadvantage in being able to take these ideas and apply them. And so you need to make sure that you're prepared and ready for class, so that way we can take kind of the ideas that we've had and build upon them during our class time. And so let's go ahead and jump to our last place uh, before we close out this video. All right, for my last space in Keck, I'm actually starting outside. Uh, if you look behind me, that's AF. Uh, AF is where we have our class. And so what I want us to be able to do is find where my office is, because that's where you're gonna come and ask me questions and talk about different topics. You can actually see it from outside of Keck. It's right up there. That's my office. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. And I'm gonna give you your last few thoughts uh, as we do so. Now, as we're going in, I wanna give you a couple ideas of what we can do to be successful in this class. So first off, what we're gonna do Get to my office quickly. All right, so we made it to my office. A couple of thoughts that I have for us before we start our semester to end this video. Number one is we're gonna have a lot of fun studying chemistry. As you may have noticed, I love reactions, I love chemistry. I'm kind of a chemistry nerd. I mean, I got like molecules sitting on my desk. I got coffee table chemistry books. So, uh, but what that means is that my hope is that we can get just as excited all together about chemistry and reactions and why things are that the way that they are. That's what originally got me into chemistry is like, how can I understand the world around me? And that's the goal of what we want to do this semester and how do we do that we do that by being curious being excited about the material being excited about the topics i understand there will be topics and days where you may not be as interested as me 
in that information. But at the same time, there will be some things I hope that we find really exciting and interesting talking about why structure of molecules influences the way that those drug molecules work within our body uh, and how pharmaceuticals work or uh, why certain environmental uh, issues arise based upon heavy metals present in water and why certain heavy metals are present in water uh, whereas others aren't based upon the electrochemistry of those reactions that we'd see with redox reactions. So we're going to talk about all these different ideas and topics that relate to chemistry but with a big picture worldview of how that relates to the world around us. And so I hope you get a picture, an idea of what we're going to be doing this semester. Uh, now you know who I am. Uh, you can see I may be a little bit of a goofy guy who likes science, but that's okay. I hope we can have fun together, learning chemistry, being excited about the material and topics that we have, being serious about them. But that means that this, we just get to work hard and learn something that's interesting and exciting. So I hope that you all have a great rest of your summer. I'll see you soon. Be ready on our first day of class to jump in talking about some exciting chemistry. I will see you all then.